One of the questions that I get asked almost on a daily basis is what is my favourite game of all time? And it's really one I struggle to answer because we don't have to choose, you know? There are so many great games out there in, in so many different genres that it's almost difficult to compare them to each other. Um, so it's a hard one. So I'm going to go through some of my favourites because I don't think I can just put one down really. And shout out to this dude whose comment inspired this video. So straight away, I have to say that if we just go by what game do I have the most playthroughs of, it almost definitely has to be Borderlands 1. We'll go through just how many times in the last six years I've played through and finished Borderlands 1 in a minute. But then when it comes down to which is objectively a better game, we probably need to go with Borderlands 2. I know that that's the Handsome Jack collection, but it's the definitive version of Borderlands 2. I mean, to be fair, the PC version is probably superior, but I have that as well. I have... When it comes to the Borderlands franchise, I own all three of them, not including pre-sequel, on every console they've ever been released on. PS3, 360, Xbox One, PS4, and PC. Uh, I, I, I don't know how I've ended up with all of them, but, but it's one where I have. But anyway, Borderlands 1 is definitely up there with one of my favourite games of all time. It is a game that, for example, whenever I don't know what else I want to play, I get an urge to play through Borderlands 1, and over, the, over a day or two, three at max, I'll do two playthroughs of Borderlands 1, because of the way that the playthrough system in Borderlands works, where you do New Game Plus immediately after New Game, and it just is a natural continuation. So every playthrough of Borderlands 1, for me, is at least two playthroughs, because I will always do both playthroughs, whereas Borderlands 2 has three playthroughs, and generally I will at least do the first two, and then three is, and it depends upon which Vault Hunter I'm playing, because three is really unbalanced and less fun. But... Let me show you guys how many times I've beaten Borderlands 1 since I started my game log. So first of all, on the game log, if I just control F and search Borderlands, there are 41 entries in the last six years. Now granted, this will include pre-sequel Borderlands 2 and Borderlands 3, because obviously it's just anything that includes the word Borderlands. I don't know how to specify it so that it excludes 2, 3 and pre-sequel. There's probably a way of doing that. Like, I don't know, if I put it in quotation marks or something, would it only show work, like specifically Borderlands? But we'll go through it anyway. So this year alone, uh, the last few times I beat Borderlands 1 was on the 30th of September and the 2nd of October, so it's only been about a month. But then earlier on in September, I played through Borderlands twice again on the 14th and the 16th. And then if we go to the times before that, uh, once again, still this year, we have Borderlands on the 6th and the 8th of April, and then we do have some, well, just loads of Borderlands this year, really. We've got Borderlands 2 on the 1st of March, uh, Borderlands 2 on the 16th of February, Borderlands 1 on the 14th of February, Valentine's Day, Happy Burson, Payson, Romeo, my nephew, yes, his middle name is really Romeo, being born on Valentine's Day, it's ridiculous, I know my sister's mental. Um, and then, still looking at 2024 over here, we've got Borderlands 1, Borderlands 2, and Borderlands 3 on the 5th, the 6th, and the 10th. And then, okay, we're into last year now, so there was a bit of a gap. <laughs> last year I did go a bit insane with Borderlands by the look of it. See, see what I mean about how when you, go, when you go by the data, you probably do have to say Borderlands is up there for sure. So Borderlands on the 24th of the 6th, um, Borderlands on the 19th of the 6th, Borderlands on the 18th of the 6th. Borderlands 2, Borderlands 2, Borderlands 2 on the 14th, 15th, and 17th of the 6th. Borderlands 1 tw on the twice on the 12th, so I did both playthroughs in the same day on that one. Um, and then if we just keep looking further up, we've got Borderlands, Borderlands, Borderlands on the 31st, the 31st. So two, two playthroughs in a day again then, and then the next day I did it again for a third time for the giggles of it. And then Borderlands 2 on the 2nd, the 6th, and the 7th, and then Borderlands 3 on the 11th, and then, yeah, it just, it, lots of Borderlands. So then if we just go back to the time before then, that wasn't even the only time last year, so I did Borderlands 1 on the 15th and the 16th of the 1st, 2023, and then the 16th of the 1st, 2023 for Borderlands 2, and the 17th of the 1st. 2023 for Borderlands 3 again. You'll notice generally around Borderlands you'll also see a lot of Dark Souls because that is probably next up on this list when we get there. Borderlands 1 on the 19th of April 2022. So I only played Borderlands 1 like once last year in 2022 so I had a big gap there. And then we're in 2021 so we've got Borderlands 1, Borderlands 2, Borderlands 3, Borderlands 1 on the 11th, the 26th. Yeah, I actually I remember that. So if you check this out right, 
There's like two months here I didn't play anything else. I did a real huge Borderlands sweat in between work, work, work. So 2021, I didn't beat too many games. So if you look, right, Assassin's Creed Valhalla down here is in November. But if we just go like six games up, it's six months prior. I barely beat anything in a few months because I was just grafting the social media, getting my business to the point where it was, you know, to the point where it can go maintenance mode. I talk about how generally you have to in business have phases of maintenance and growth and balance is often not really a thing in growth phases if you really want to be successful but yeah that was definitely a growth period if we go back to 2020 we got borderlands one in here um and then 2019 i did them in a really weird order here look borderlands 3 borderlands 1 and the pre-sequel i apparently do not play the pre-sequel very frequently at all is that the first time the pre-sequels turned up since 2019 surely not uh, Borderlands 2 on the 19th, 2019. So yeah, where's the pre-sequel at the last time? I need to find that. I don't believe that I haven't played it since 2019. Oh, it's there. I don't know why it's not showing up there, but yeah, Borderlands, and then obviously Tiny Tina as well. So I don't think I've played Borderlands the pre-sequel in nearly two years. So that's kind of interesting. But then, I also really love the Dark Souls franchise, so... If I search Dark Souls on there, it comes up a million and one times. And before we touch upon that, let me just reply to a comment, because... I want to I want to logic check with you guys whether I'm just, you know, wired wrong or whether it's common sense. So I said in a previous video that I've played the Dark Souls games enough times that generally I'll beat them in a single sitting. There are many, many games I'll beat in a single sitting because I've got all day to play when I choose to. Dude commented, there's no way you're doing any of the Souls games in one day without speedrunning. I generally cannot say that I'm a speedrunner. If you actually watch the playthroughs, I'm not a speedrunner. Here's, here's the logic gate with this one, right? I before if I was to if I was to watch a video where somebody said that they did a thing on a gaming account, I would search their gaming account to see if there was any footage of them doing a thing before commenting this. That's what I would do. Would you? I don't know. I I, I just I feel like I'm a I feel like people tell me I'm a dick when I reply like this, but it just I just feel like common sense would have answered this one. You know? Come on, really, please? Like, if you go on my profile, I've got a 22 video long playlist here from years ago of me playing through Dark Souls 1, 2, and 3. But then I've also played, in a single video, Dark Souls here. Um, there was... Yeah, I did it I did it here as well, just doing a really easy playthrough. So, like, on this account alone, I've got three playthroughs of Dark Souls. On the internet in general, across all of my platforms, I genuinely think I've got about 12 playthroughs of Dark Souls at this point uploaded. But the way that... The way... <laughs> And again, I feel like a dick saying this, but it, I'm sorry, but it's the truth. This is the sort of comment that I get all the time on TikTok. And on TikTok, I get it, because you can't exactly search for content very easily on TikTok. It's just you see what there is and you, you, you comment. But like on YouTube, I wouldn't have done that. So yeah, when it comes to the Dark Souls games, they're definitely some of my favourite as well. The, the terms Dark Souls appear 34 times on the log. If we go through those real quick. Okay, so the last time was back in August for the game log. We got... Dark Souls on the 14th, the 15th, and the 16th. So, three days, three games. Um, and then, earlier on, in the same month, like a week before, I did Dark Souls 1 and 2 on the same day. Dark Souls 3 on the 6th. Bloodborne on the 7th. Sekiro on the 10th. And Elden Ring on the 12th. And then if we just go up to the last times before those, give it a scroll. Over here, we got Dark Souls 1 on the 29th. Uh, Dark Souls 2 on the 30th. Dark Souls 3 on the 30th, and then if you keep looking, Blood Elden, uh, Bloodborne on the 30th, so I did Dark Souls 2, 3, and Bloodborne all on the same day, and then Elden Ring the day after that. And again, I truly don't believe I speedrun. You can watch the videos, I, I don't feel like I'm speedrunning, I just know the games inside and out. Elden Ring, no, I can't, I can't beat Elden Ring easily. Anyone that's seen me play that knows that I can't, but the Souls games, yeah, because I know them inside out. And you got to remember... I play all day when I choose to play these games. Like, it, for right now, it is 10... It's 11pm. I could play until 4am right now and go and beat Dark Souls 1. You know, I know that... The, the, the thing with Souls on the internet is a lot of people, like... Are under the impression it's way harder than it is because they've probably only played it once. And your first playthrough, you're always going to really, really struggle. But once you've done it once, I promise you, they're not as hard as you think. Uh, Dark Souls up here on the 20th, the 22nd, and the 24th. Dark Souls 2, 26, 27, 28... Dark Souls 1 and 2 on the 1st, so like more than once I've beaten more than one Dark Souls game on the same day. It's just a thing 
that we do every so often because I enjoy playing these games a lot. If we go, if we keep going, we did the same thing here as well. Look, check this out. Check this for a, a block of games at the start of at the start of 2023. Right, watch this. Dark Souls one on the third of January, two on the fourth of January. 3 on the 1st of January, Demon Souls and Bloodborne both on the 6th of January, Sekiro on the 7th of January, Elden Ring on the 11th of January, Bloodborne also on the 11th of January, Dark Souls 3 on the 12th of January, Dark Souls 2 on the 12th of January, and then Dark Souls 1 on the 13th of January. So that's all of the Souls games including Demon Souls, Bloodborne and Sekiro and Elden Ring. All of the Souls games twice in the space of about 10 days. It's just this isn't me flexing, this is me just replying to the comment, okay? This is just me trying to reiterate that when you know a game inside out and you have all the time in the world to play, you'll you'll do it. It's, it's just one of them. Um, and we're talking about what my favourite games are, so this is how this came up. The, the Souls games are some of my favourite games. Like, I've been playing them since Dark Souls 1 released, so over a decade now. Dark Souls 1, Dark Souls 2, Dark Souls 3, <laughs> Demon Souls, Bloodborne, Sekiro, Neo and Neo 2... They're both harder than the Souls games, in my opinion, by the way. Up here again, Dark Souls 2, 3. And this is weird, right? And this, this, check out this, check out what I was doing here. I don't know what was going on. I was alternating Souls like games with Pokemon games. So, Pokemon Emerald, Pokemon Platinum, Dark Souls 1, 2, and 3. Pokemon White, Bloodborne. Pokemon X, Sekiro. Pokemon Moon, Pokemon Sword, Omega Ruby. And then I went to Borderlands, 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 Borderlands. I remember doing that. I don't know why I did that, but it was fun. This is why I like having the game log, because I can I can look back on things. 2019, uh, the 11th, the 15th, and the 17th for Dark Souls. And that's probably the last time the Dark Souls was... Or the first time Dark Souls was tracked on the log. But over the course of 10 years, I've probably... I, I have no idea, because obviously the log only goes back about 6. But yeah, they're definitely some of my favourite games. And then one of my other favourite games that isn't going to appear on the log too many times because it's not technically a game you can really beat. There is an end credits that people generally don't get to. Most people finish this game when they just get bored. Um, actually, that applies to two games, even though both games have credits. Uh, Ark, Survival Evolved, and Minecraft. I love both of those games. Every couple of years I get an itch for each of those games and I will sweat them all day, day in, day out, for about a month each. And then I will either get bored, or in Ark I will beat like the bosses of whatever map I'm playing, and then I will call it squit there and move on. Um, so, for example, the last time Ark was tracked on my log was the 30th of November. So it's been two years nearly to the day. Well, in like two weeks it'll have been two years. So Ark is one of my favorite games as well. I, I'll never forget the first time I ever turned on Ark, and it was like being a kid watching like Jurassic Park for the first time. It was one of the best feelings ever. So I love Ark. Um, yeah, I love having my game log. It's really nostalgic to me to stand here in front of these games and look because I know that this this isn't this, I know that this is, this is realistically pointless and meaningless to you guys, but to me this represents memories. This represents times in my life. This represents good times. I enjoy looking at this because. I can also think about other things that happened in the world, in my life, at the time that, that was going on. You know, for example, here. I had never played the Gears of War games before this block of games here. And I remember I sat down for like a week, just lived and breathed Gears of War. So even though I'd never beaten any of these games before, check this out. Gears of War 1 on the 1st, 2 and 3 both on the 3rd. And then uh, Judgment on the 4th, Gears of War 4 on the 5th, and Gears of War 5 on the 6th. And again... It's just because I will sit there and play until it is done. I just don't stop. I, that's, that's my brain, right? My brain is incredibly one track. I get a goal and it doesn't matter what that goal is. The goal could be beating a game or the goal could be making money. It doesn't matter what it is. I will sit there and I will do it until it is done. And that is what my brain is like. And I love that. So like looking back at when I did this, the fact that that was four years ago nearly. Like in, in just under a month, it's been about four years since I started playing Gears of War for the first time. That is insane to me. If you look, I did the same thing with Halo, because I'd never played the Halo games either, because I was a PlayStation kid growing up. So I basically did all the Halo games, and then did all the Gears of War games back to back, because it was just, you know, the Xbox stuff. So Combat Evolved, because I'm pretty sure that's Halo 1. Um, 2, 3, 4, and 5. Each game on each day. 3 and 4 on the same day. Because again, I will just sit there and sweat until game is beaten, because that's just how I play games. 
if you look at the dates of a lot of these, they're always within a couple of a few days of each other because generally, for the most part, I'll start whatever game I finish last. Whatever game I finish last, the next one starts the same day. Here, for example, um, I finished Darksiders 3 on the 27th of June 2020, and then I did Darkness 1 and Darkness 2, so that was three games on the same date. However, generally, I, that means that I will have started Darksiders 3 probably on the 25th, it just finished on the 27th. And, uh, yeah, I, I do love looking at my game log. It's, it's interesting to talk through it out loud. And again, I don't want the Dark Souls stuff to come off as a flex as if me, I'm, I don't, it's not supposed to be an I'm better than you sort of thing. It's just supposed to be a, I said that I beat them. I don't understand why you'd question it without doing some research to see if it was true or not on an account where you can go and search it up. You know, that's what I would have done. I, I don't know. Am I insane? I might be, based upon how many people do that. Who knows? But yeah. So some of my favourite games. The Borderlands games, the Dark Souls games, Ark and Minecraft. That's quite the menagerie of game types, I would say. Anyway, hope you guys enjoyed the video. Uh, if you did, be sure to subscribe and I will see you guys later.